For the last 12 years, I've delivered hundreds and hundreds of speeches around the world on the idea of growing business using online marketing and online social media and online public relations and online sales. It's been focused in an online world. I've had so many people come to me and say, David, what's next? We're feeling like this whole online thing, while incredibly valuable, it's harder and harder to get noticed. And what's coming next is true human connection. What I call a fanocracy. The idea of how people come together and celebrate what they love. And what's interesting about that is it's something that companies can tap. Who loves to buy auto insurance? Raise your hand. Anybody? Anybody? I don't know anybody who loves to buy auto insurance. And here's something interesting. I asked this question to someone and he said, insurance sucks. Nobody wants to buy insurance. It's not fun. And what was interesting was this was the CEO of an insurance company, Mikhail Haggerty. They totally focused on cultivating fandom. They have a driver's club, 600,000 members. This idea of fanocracy, this idea of organizations coming together in a human connection with their customers and building fans, this is what's next. This is the way to communicate with existing customers. This is the way to connect with potential customers. Right here in Scottsdale, every January, there's the most important classic car event in this country, and it's a series of auctions. There's the Bonhams auction, there's the Barrett Jackson auction, there's the Gooding auction and the Sotheby's auction. They're all happening here, but interestingly, they all happen at the same time. So classic car enthusiasts can't see all of those auctions. It's physically impossible to be in the room at all of them. A room like this one where these cars are sold. They created at Haggerty an app where you can track in real time the auction results at the different auctions. What McKeel Haggerty told me is, we went out and expressly challenged ourselves, how can we build fans? We discovered we're pretty good at it. We had fun doing it and it matters because that's our word of mouth growth engine. Haggerty is the largest classic car insurance company. They have double digit compound growth every year. 200,000 new customers are expected this year. All based on building fans. My presentations focus on three things. I focus on entertainment because if you're entertained, you'll pay attention. Number two, I focus on education, delivering information of value. And number three, I focus on motivation, motivating you to take action. My presentations include lots of examples, examples of people who have created fandoms within their companies, people who have created a fanocracy within their organization. I focus on the idea of who is a fan of something and why, and how that information can be valuable for organizations. My presentations are for organizations who want to grow their business by reaching their customers in a much more human way. There are so many, I'm looking at you, so many people today, here, right now, among us, who have stickers on their computer. They're fans of something. And we can develop the kinds of fans who are so passionate that they're even willing to put a sticker on their computer to share their fandom with other people. Those people who say, oh, I'm in a commodity business, I can't develop fans. Or those people who say, oh, I'm in the B2B business, I can't develop fans. No, all of us can develop fans. And you might even be able to develop fandom such that people are eager 
to put a sticker of your company onto their computer. Now, isn't that the ultimate? I've delivered the ideas of fanocracy to thousands of people in multiple countries. And everybody comes up to me afterwards and say, wow, what fresh, new, interesting ideas these are. I've had people say to me afterwards that they've gone with other people from that event out to dinner and they spent the entire two hours of the dinner talking about the things that they're fans of. This idea of fandom and fanocracy resonates with people because all of us are fans of something. All of us have passions. And because we all have passions, we can then understand how awesome it is to have something that you're that passionate about. And therefore, we can then develop that same kind of fanocracy in our business because we know what it's like to be a fan and we can develop that fandom even within a business that some people think are a commodity. In a world of digital chaos where everybody's doubling down and sending yet another tweet, yet another YouTube video, yet another LinkedIn connection, what people are looking for is true human connection.